Welcome to the Hi Mac Tam channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the micro and nanoscale structural differences between different grades of masks and respirators approved for medical use. By exploring the structural differences, we can understand why certain masks are more preferable than others. To see the structure of the mass materials at a high magnification, I use the scanning electron microscope, which offers significantly higher resolution than a conventional light microscope. We will be looking at a level 1 mass, a level 3 mass, as well as a N95 respirator. Level 1 and level 3 medical masks are manufactured to meet the performance standards of the F2100 standard established by the ASTM International, an organization that develops and publishes technical standards for materials. According to the F2100 standard, the main differences between level 1 and level 3 medical masks are that level 3 masks have better bacterial filtration efficiency and improved resistance to fluids such as blood. On the other hand, N95 respirators have to meet the specifications established by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health NIOSH. The number 95 means that it is capable of filtering out 95% or greater airborne particles, and letter N means that it is not resistant to oil. Anyways, enough of the technical details. Let's look at images of the mass obtained from scanning electron microscopy. To give you a sense of scale, I have an image of a strand of human hair on the left and the top layer of the level 1 mass on the right, both taken at the same magnification. The scale bar on both images is 50 microns. As you can see, the diameter of the human hair is 90 microns, while the diameter of a strand of fiber in the mass is 18 microns. In other words, a strand of hair is 5 times thicker than one fiber on the top layer of the level 1 mask. Now you may be wondering how the feature size on the mask compares to the coronavirus. We know that the coronavirus is about 0.2 microns in size, and this is how it compares to a fiber on the N95 respirator. As you can see, the size of the coronavirus is about the size of the red dot, so that is only one-sixth of the fiber on the N95. Let's look at the level 1 mask in detail. It is composed of three layers, starting with the top layer. The image shown on the top is a low magnification image, while the image shown on the bottom is a high magnification image. The top layer is actually quite thin, and you can see through it with your naked eye. Here, the fiber diameter is about 18 microns. The middle layer is the important filtration layer. Structurally, at the micro scale, it is clear that the fiber density is much higher, and the average fiber diameter is much thinner than the top layer, at about 1.8 microns. Finally, in the low magnification image of the bottom layer, you can see a big square in the middle. That is actually part of the pattern on the mask that you can see with your eyes. Overall, the structure and fiber diameter of this non-woven layer is quite similar to the top layer. The main purpose of this layer is to provide comfort to the user as it is in direct contact with the user's face. Now let's look at the level 3 mask. It is made of 4 layers. The two layers on the top are basically the same with no noticeable differences structurally. The additional top layer is likely to be a contributing factor in improving the fluid resistance compared to level 1 mask. The fiber diameter of these two layers is about 19 microns which is similar to that of the top layer in the level 1 mask. Looking at layer 3, which is the main filtration layer, the fiber density appears to be much higher than the middle layer of level 1. Here, the average fiber diameter is about 2.2 microns, which is slightly thicker than the level 1. Finally, the fibers on layer 4 are rather sparsely apart and the layer is quite thin. It is quite clear the function of this layer is not for filtering foreign materials, N95 respirators are made of three layers, similar to level 1 and level 3 masks. The average diameter of the fiber in the top layer is 18 microns. However, the fiber density here is much higher. As with all masks, the most important layer is the middle layer. For the N95, the middle layer is very thick and is composed of very thin fibers with diameter less than 1 microns and also some thicker ones. The diameter of the thin fibers is quite similar to the ones on the level 1. However, when looking at the high magnification image, it is clear that the thin fibers are much more densely packed in the middle layer of the N95 than the level 1 mask. In other words, the spacing between the fibers is much tighter. This structure allows N95 respirators to be much more effective in catching small nanoparticles, such as the coronavirus. Furthermore, 
This layer is also electrostatically charged, which allows it to attract and trap oppositely charged particles. The bottom layer of N95 is also quite different from the level 1 and level 3 mask. It is quite clear that the bottom layer here is made of a combination of thin and thick fibers, and they are quite packed together. It is expected that this layer will also aid in filtering out small particles. After looking at these three masks and respirators in great detail, let's compare the filtration layer directly. Here, we have the side-by-side -side comparison of the scanning electron microscopy images of the filtration layer. The top row contains low magnification images, and the bottom row contains high magnification images. When glancing at the low magnification images, it may be hard to spot the differences between the filtration layers of the level 1, level 3, and N95. Let's turn our attention on the high magnification images. The filtration layer of the level 3 mask seems to have higher fiber density and smaller pore size than the level 1 and N95. You may now be wondering if level 3 masks are better than the N95. The answer is no. If you look at the thickness of the filtration layer, the filtration layer of the N95 respirator is about 10 times thicker than the counterpart in level 1 and level 3. Although the fiber density may be lower on the N95, particles would have a harder time to penetrate through the much thicker filtration layer of the N95. I hope you enjoyed this video looking at masks and respirators approved for medical use at high magnification. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel to be notified for upcoming contents. If you have any comments, please leave a note below. I'll see you guys next time.